Hi guys, have you ever heard of an aortic dissection but never really knew what it was? Well, if that's true for you, you've come to the right video. Hi, I'm Dr. Hampton and I'm on a mission to help you achieve metabolic health. In today's video, we're going to talk about this aortic dissection, what exactly it is and how you can prevent it. And I really think it's important because so many people are at risk for this condition. Well, let's start with the, the first thing you need to know about, and that's the, you know, what are the risk factors, right? Number one is age. And if you're between the ages of 40 and 80, that puts you at risk for it, but the average age is around in the 60, mid-60 range. Uh, men have a twice as high risk for this condition. So if you're a man, you should pay attention to this video. I made a similar video about a condition called abdominal aortic aneurysm. And that thumbnail suggested that that condition had an 80% risk of death. So I'll have a link to that video as well in this video, uh, because I think they're so similar. I want to make sure you know the difference between the two. So so let's talk about this condition called the aortic dissection. Does it have an 80% risk of death? No. Thankfully, when you look at the findings from the JAMA uh, cardiology review, they found that it's about a 5.8% risk of death with this condition. So it's a little less uh, scary compared to the abdominal aortic aneurysm, but it is something we need to still be worried about. I don't want a 5 6 or 7% death rate from anything. So so what is the highest, you know, risk factor for an aortic dissection? That would be your blood pressure. So uh, so the goal is to have a normal blood pressure because it puts you at risk for a ton of health conditions including this one. And as you can see from this graph, you want to make sure you get your blood pressure less than 130 systolic and maybe less than 80 uh, diastolic. So just keep that in mind as we uh, walk through this uh, video. And why do I say that's a big deal? Well, because if you look at the CDC, 45% of adults are having issues with their blood pressure. I mean, think about that. That's almost half the adults in the United States. So that's kind of a big deal. And I want to make sure that uh, we deal with that issue as well. If you look at the blood pressure risk, it's probably around 70% of cases. Well, another risk, which is much less, is cocaine use. So of course, if you or someone you love are using drugs like cocaine, let's stop doing that because we don't want to have this risk from that as well. One of the conditions you may have never heard of is carb Marfan syndrome. And about 5% of people who have issues around aortic dissections have this interesting condition. As you can see, uh, you can almost tell when you see someone if they're at risk for that just by looking at them. The things that you would know is that the intraocular lens can be dislocated. They can have crowded teeth, uh, arch neck. And as you can see, you have this pectus uh, carbonatum. And that means when your chest is kind of sucking, sunken in, long arms, stretch marks, long fingers. Of course, you're, everything's just long, the legs included, and you can have flat feet. So you have this thin, thin, tall person, flexible joints, possibly scoliosis. And of course, we're talking about Marfan's because it increases your risk for blood vessel complications, including an aortic dissection. Now, you may have also heard that Abraham Lincoln was thought to maybe have this condition. I'm not sure it was actually proven, but it is true that uh, Abraham Lincoln was thought to have this condition. So if we could go backwards and, 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 and look at Abraham Lincoln, there's something that we could have done to help us know if he had it. And in this case, maybe something you can do, and this would be fun to try at home. So think about uh, putting your thumb, you know, if your thumb extends uh, beyond your hand, you know, once you kind of cross it over, you know, like this and fold it down, uh, maybe, maybe, just maybe uh, you're at risk uh, if you can see the end of that thumb on the other side of your finger. But so if you see that happening, you shouldn't panic. That does not mean you have Marfan's, but what it does mean is you may want to get the uh, calculation uh, done that the that's offered by the Marfans found Foundation. And what this will do is give you a score. And if you find your score is higher than it should be, then maybe this is something you can uh, talk to your doctor about. So, so let's talk a little bit about the um, difference between a dissection and a abdominal aortic aneurysm, because sometimes it gets a little confusing. 
when you look at this image, you'll notice that for a uh, aneurysm, uh, all you're getting is a dilation. So if you think about that intima, media, and adventitia layers, you're not going to necessarily have any issues with those per se. It's just everything's going to get more uh, dilated. And so if you have two centimeter dilation, that's pretty normal for your aorta. But if it gets to like 50% uh, greater, like three centimeters or greater, then that's what we have when we think about uh, an aortic aneurysm. Now, if you look down below, you'll see that for an aortic dissection, you end up uh, taking that intimal layer and, the, and separating it from the media layer. And when you do that, you end up with two lumens and that false lumen is the one where uh, you can have trouble. So I just wanted to put that in front of you so you'll understand visually what the difference is. Another thing that's helpful is to know that there are two types of aortic dissections. There's a type A that uh, involves the ascending uh, aorta, as you can see to the left. And then to the right, you'll see a type B, which involves the descending uh, a order to the right. So now you see that there's two types and that's important when it comes to how we treat it. Now, going back to the uh, abdominal aortic uh, aneurysm, I want to make sure you know the difference in terms of risk factors, right? So unlike the dissection, which as you've learned can be from your blood pressure, hypertension, cocaine use, or something like Marfan's, uh, the uh, abdominal aortic aneurysm is caused by uh, smoking and atherosclerosis, where you get plaques in your arteries. So again, um, let's not be smokers. Of course, smoking can lead to atherosclerosis. So I just keep that in mind as you're trying to distinguish between those two. So, so here we have an idea of how you diagnose this condition. And as you can see from this uh, image, there's a sudden tearing or ripping chest pain. Um, there can be a blood pressure difference between your right and left arm. And then on an x-ray, you can see widening of the aorta. Um, another thing to keep in mind, a good thing to remember, is that a type A, which is that, uh, that ascending type, uh, A for ascending, right? So you can kind of distinguish between those two. And then a type a type uh, B is, uh, is going to be B for back. So when you think about the pain, remember that the B type, tends to have back pain and the ascending A for anterior also, it tends to be in the front. So you may have more of a chest pain with the A type versus the B type. So just keep that in mind as well. So an echo is an exam, uh, as you could imagine, where you put the little transducer over your heart and you can kind of look at the structures of the heart. It's somewhat helpful to use that as a way to diagnose this condition. Uh, but it's not necessarily the best way. It's just about what you have access to. Here's an example of what a, a transesophageal echo looks like. We like to use the echo not on the chest necessarily, but going through your mouth. So it gets closer to your heart when you do it through your esophagus. So that's why we like the transesophageal echo a little bit more. Uh, but then you also have other ways to diagnose this condition, which may be a little bit better, which is a, a CT scan or a MRA, which is an MRI type test, but it's really focused on the blood vessels. Here's an image of a CT scan. As you can see, that little slit there is just showing you there's a false and a true lumen, and it's giving you an idea that, that you can diagnose it with a CT. And then the same thing is true with an MRI. A, which gives you a visual of what's going on inside your aorta. So the treatment's very similar. One is via uh, surgery for the, the type A or medications to kind of lower the blood pressure. But the type B, uh, they tend to try to do medicines first, if possible, over surgery. And, and if they're successful with medicines or to delay surgery, they'll go in that direction as well. So, so what do you do to make sure you're not at risk for this condition? Nobody really wants to have surgery or have to you know, take medicine if they can avoid it. And, and since the number one cause of aortic dissection is because of a high blood pressure, it's probably a good idea to control your blood pressure or reverse your blood pressure. Now, now, many people have been told in the past that the DASH diet, dietary approach to stop hypertension is the gold standard, but a study from 2023 proved that the keto diet 
was the best diet to reduce your blood pressure. So that would be my recommendation. And for those who want to go to the extreme and be like Dr. Hampton, I would even uh, consider the carnivore diet, which is an animal-based diet, is the best way to deal with uh, reducing your risk for um, this condition. So I did make a video comparing the keto and DASH diet, just in case you need a little clarity around that topic. And I will share that link in the show notes as well. So again, today's video was all about exposing you to the idea that there's another condition that's related to your blood pressure that you should be aware of. And that's that aortic dissection. So I hope it provided some insights you didn't know about. I really appreciate you guys being invested in your health and trying to to achieve metabolic health. I think we all should do that. And we certainly want that for our friends and family. So, So thank you for coming to this video. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe. Let me know if you even heard of an aortic dissection and if this video was helpful. And until we share another video from the metabolic health doc, continue to be safe, be well, and continue to protect your nest.